Now then guys, what's going on? This is Yorkie here and welcome back to another episode of this FIFA 23 Blackburn Rover career mode. Where in today's episode, we're going to play a whole host of games and push through this season. Start pushing our way towards January and hopefully building this team to potentially being championship champions. After a Bradley Dak and Ben Bereton Diaz hat tricks in the last episode, we find ourselves 7th in the league. We're doing pretty well at the moment. I don't know if Blackburn in real life would currently believe themselves to be a promotion contestant contender most likely not a title contender but i would just love promotion here in season number one after all the premiership is the money land and it's where we all want to get but seventh at this current moment in time and playing pretty well only two defeats five wins and three draws feel like we had a really healthy transfer window last time out as well we started off our season by signing jason knight kind of rescuing him from derby a little bit let's see how he gets on reese nelson resurrecting his career as well at the age of 22 he's gonna be unbelievable he's already 74 rated we are paying him a pretty penny though so if we don't get promoted this season we might lose him and then we loan Joe Gellhart because I'm a Leeds fan and I love Joe Gellhart and hopefully he can thrive this year in the league. And then who knows? Maybe we pick him up on our premiership season well, whenever we get back there. We've also started filling up the youth academy which is fantastic. We're trying to find the next Martin Gams Pedersen but the most important thing in this episode is games, games, games. And the first game of this episode is going to be up against Stoke City. Another old premiership side that will be trying to fight their way back into the Premier League. And they've had a pretty rough time of recent. They've really struggled since not being being in the Premier League. They've got the lap in the team though. He could cause me a problem and as per usual they're playing free at the back. If you are new to the channel you don't already know this. I really struggle against free at the back. But hopefully with the right personnel on the pitch for this one this will not be a struggle to take on. El Hart back in the starting 11 as well. I want to really see something special out of him today. Travers could be someone we may be losing in January. He is a beast of a midfielder. Got bodies forward. I can get to any of them, but Barrett Diaz is going to be found. Diaz is going to try and whip that one across to Gelha. He can't just quite get his head on it. Oh, is Buckley in behind here? He might be. Buckley with an opportunity to make it 1-0 Blackburn. He's got to score that. Would Bradley Dak have scored this one? I'm not sure. It's on his weaker foot. Can't be too mad at him. We've got a corner. Dolan is going to whip this one in. With a little bit of height in towards Barrett and Diaz. And what a save from the keeper. Oak yet to cause a problem. But I know my back line could be shaky at any stage of this game. Marker. It's a good ball out wide. They're going to have bodies in. Tymon pulls it back to Lorient. That's a good block, though. Gelhart. Oh, I found him in a really good position. Gelhart turns, shoots. What a save from the keeper. No Gelhart causing all the problems here, really, does. I'd love it if he could just find the back of the net. Dolan will collect this. I do now. I'm just going to go all the way with Dolan because I didn't stand the chance. Weak foot. Terrible shot. Back there, we'll lose out to Travers. This might be where we can break. That was a reckless tackle. This, maybe give him a red ref. Maybe give him a red, because Benny Boy doesn't look like he's getting up anytime soon. The yellow, absolutely nothing. That is ridiculous. And Diaz is injured. This was so reckless from Barker as well, man. Absolutely cleaning him out. We're going to make the change. Mark Hamby's going to come on for Diaz, who is injured. And I do not like this scenario whatsoever. That could hinder me massively. Luckily, Reese Nelson can play on the left. He's the top goal scorer for me right now, though, is Bereton Diaz. So that makes it even more difficult. That I could do with some subs right now, but Travis will pick it up. That one out wide to Markambi. This is going to be a big opportunity for Markambi. Plays that one out wide to Galhart. Have I got the bodies coming in? I do. I've got my Camby. I can't get the ball across, though. Time for some subs. We're going to have three of them. Hopefully, these guys can have an impact in order for us to get this goal we need. Can't say this is three points drop, but it will feel like it because we have been the better team. Is that a good enough ball in? Oh, that's not bad land to him. We've still got time finishing on. Should not have that on. I don't know why it's on. For a side note, Dwight Gale right now is playing for Stoke, and Dwight Gale is not slow. Dwight Gale is on the football right now, and he's making my life difficult. That was a great ball in. Powell now can pull that one across. Back to Dwight Gale. Just get him off the football. Thank you. I think if anything, this nil-nil result is just going to be uh, just a sign of the quality that we have because we just don't have it. I've made substitutions. I've tried to do what I can, but the players on the pitch for me just aren't doing it. Uh, how is there going to be bodies over for Hedges? Hedges needs more than that, and it's going to be Mark Hamby, who is four foot. That'll be the full-time whistle. It'll be nil-nil and a bit of a waste against Stoke. It might be difficult, but we need to get more out of this 11 that are on the pitch right now. And luckily, there's no email. No one is telling me that Ben Barrington Diaz can't play football for us, so he is going to be okay. After that horrendous game of football, I'm praying for a much better one here against Birmingham, who will also play five at the back, which is extremely frustrating. The reason Birmingham are playing in their away kit is because this was an awful kick clash. So this is what we've got. 
got. Hopefully, we're going to have three points by the end of this one. It is chucking it down. Give me my three points. Reese Nelson back in the team. Burton Diaz in. We're also with Gallagher up top for this one. But the man, the myth, the legend is Troy Deeney. They've got Hannibal as well. And look at that footwork. He could be the danger man until you let him pass the football. Can't do it, apparently. Nelson now. This is where he is just dynamite. Nelson. They're going to... Are they going to... Nelson? Oh, imagine if he scores that. They just let him run the entire length of the pitch. Maybe too good for the championship, but sometimes you've got to resurrect your career. And I'm happy for him to do it here at Blackburn. I'm very happy for him to do it here at Blackburn. I already don't like John Ruddy. He's, I just don't like him. And he, I can already tell he's going to be an absolute nightmare as Ben Diaz puts it me on the pose. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm already starting to feel like I'm not too sure about Buckley playing that cam position. I think, for now, I'm quite happy with Dak there. But I actually think in the future, as Buckley comes forward and loses it, that maybe we want somebody else to play camp. Hannibal now. They're going to be allowed to run. He's got some pace as well. The Man United lad. Good control. Absolutely fulled picker in. Can he do it? That's not bad ball in. Win the header. Oh, my God. What a save, Kaminsky. Zero idea how they generated that level of power. on the. Oh, we're going to be second best. What a save. Kaminsky already becoming my hero. And that probably isn't going to change. What a good couple of saves. Do we need a third one? We will do. Oh, my God. Win the second. Just somebody. Get it. Okay. Okay. Well done, Kaminsky. Pat on the back. And this is an interesting moment. But Pickering is going to have an opportunity. Kind of stream straight forward. Uh, but again, I don't really have the pass on. Oh, my God. Pickering. What a beautiful goal. This is, without a doubt, the last thing you expect from your left back. But take a bow, Harry Pickering. Oh, my God. We're moving the ball nicely now. I do not like this. Don't let Troy Deeney pass it. That was not a foul. Troy Deeney has the strength of a 1,000 men. He stays on the football. What? What is Troy Deeney? I can't get the football off him. Block it. Just get it clear. He might actually be able to break here. Buckley needs help. It's going to have to be Reese Nelson, obviously, because Gallagher doesn't like to run. Reese Nelson, though, has played a brilliant ball, and Gallagher can head it. It was a weird move from him, but he heads it wide of the pose. See, now in the second half, if we could go on and score five to six more goals, let's get Pickering involved a bit more, and let's just tie this one off a bit. Diaz. Finds Knight. Knight can hit screamers. Oh, what a save. Ruddy. John Ruddy is just a menace to society right now. And if you don't feel that, then I don't know if we can be friends. Because he is driving me mad. What a ball in. Oh, my God. He holds it. It was straight at Ruddy, to be fair. Birmingham making a sub. It is a striker coming off. I wish it was Troy Deeney. It's not Troy Deeney. It's Jukovic instead. They've got a lot of old strikers, haven't they, Birmingham? Maybe Birmingham would have been a good shout. I feel like someone potentially suggested Birmingham at one point. They have a lot of aging strikers. Keep the run going. Does it make space for Gallagher? It does, but Gallagher is not very good in that position. He's going to get it back, though. It's well blocked. He's going to get it back again. Give it to Diaz. Give it to Diaz. He can shoot. What a save, Ruddy. I never would want to bring off Reese Nelson, but he's absolutely knackered. And Gallagher's going to be coming off because... <clears throat> I never would want to bring off Reese Nelson, but he's absolutely knackered. And Gallagher's going to come off because, well, he's not really done all. Get that one out wide to Dolan. Dolan does brilliantly. Dolan, if he plays the right ball, it's going to be into Joe Gellhart. Take the touch correctly. Gellhart, straight at Ruddy. Straight aim. Straight down his throat. He's going to save that all day long. The fact that this is only 1-0 with 10 minutes to go is just severely giving me heart palpitations. This should be more. Yes, we get it. John Ruddy is good. But still, this should be more. Bradley Dack. Lays that off to Buckley. Buckley tries to lift this one over. This time for Gellar, who is onside. And that will be 2-0 and game done and dusted. Buckley. Buckley's going to try and do it again. Oh, my God. Buckley's turned into a god. Gellar. Oh, what a save, Ruddy. Fair play to John Buckley at the end of this one. He absolutely killed it with some of his assists in this match. His passing went up a notch. Gellar scoring again. We win 2-0. Fortunately for us, we do have a couple of lone players in the squad. George Hurst and Mola. Both of them not really getting game time. Both of them most likely going to be recalled. Good news is, though, Norway scout report back. You scout report. Here we go. We know that there's two players here already that just aren't going to cut the mustard. Christoph. Andreasen can say his name please be very good 200,000 probably not going to be decent still going to sign him just in case at the age of 15 it's derby day next then boys against Preston this is a massive Lancashire derby and hopefully we can get the job done in front of the home fans and with Gelhart up top for this one that's pretty much the only change I'm keeping Buckley in the squad for now Gelhart won that early Ben Burton Diaz was showing down the line but I mean I'm going to have to Come up with something great here. Is that a good ball into Nelson? I kind of wanted Buckley. We're going to win the second ball, though. Win the header. 
Buckley collects it. He's not that good on the ball, though. I need to learn the first touch of these players. I'm going to be honest with you, because when you're playing with much better rated players, much higher rated players, the first touch of this Blackburn Rovers team is horrendous. Pretty sure the fans would expect absolutely nothing less than a victory in this one as well. Go on, Gelhart. I just like having Gelhart on the ball. It's a good ball over the top, and I need to be cautious here because I'm pretty sure the fans will expect nothing less than a victory. And it won't be acceptable if we don't get one. Knight as well in the starting 11 again because he's just so good. That's a good ball to Reese Nelson. And I cut it inside. Of course I can. It's Reese Nelson. I should have passed it into Gellar. I've managed to get free again here now with Torbass. And he seems to be the danger man. The only thing that is helping me is that he's extremely slow. That's a good ball across though. What a save. Kaminsky straight into his arms to be fair. Knight right, is just going to try and loft that one forward to Gellar. I'm always going to try and find that now. He's been so good. And these defenders at this level as well that we're coming up against. I'm starting to learn are pretty slow. So far it's feeling like a derby date. It's feeling a little bit like a stalemate. And we're not really creating much. If I could just get on the ball a little bit more. If I could just press them a little bit harder. They're defending so deep. Buckley now. Get that across. Knight wanted to go into Gelhart. And I just can't find that pass in the final third right now. But we're going to win the ball back. Get it over tonight. Not bad ball. Can he shoot it though? He's going to head it. And it's poor. This is a first half that for the neutral, you don't really want to remember. Because nothing happened. I wouldn't say we've been creating masses with this Blackburn side at the moment. That's a good ball in behind. This is dangerous. Port surely 1-0 Preston. They've done nothing all game, but neither have we. And we go goal down. Buckley's going to be off instantly after that. We're going to bring on Bradley Dak. And hopefully Bradley Dak can just inject some life into this. The last thing we want to do... Is lose to them. We're neck and neck on points in the table right now. They're having a little bit of a title challenge as well. Others wins that. Knight. Knocks that one over. Bradley Dak has not been on the pitch long. That would have been a great goal. I don't feel like my wingers just make instant runs on. And it's, it's really frustrating. But Reese Nelson is going to do brilliantly there to keep that. Joe Gellhart now. That's good footwork from Joe Gellhart. Give the penalty. Give something rare. Oh, they're going to get away with this one. Tall bass. And I don't know what I could do. I'm going to bring him across. Potts is going to be open though. If we don't make the tackle... We don't. Potts might still be open. Oh, my God. It's not Potts. It's Reese Rice. Don't know how you say that. It's 2-0 Preston. And against our arch rivals, we're looking embarrassing. All they've really done is defend deep. But it's just worked perfectly because they've had the breakaways. I don't have the legs or the stamina in this squad to deal with the breakaways. Onyx. Let's start one across. And then are we going to have Dak in? We might do. This is a difficult position to score from. Bradley Dak can't do it. He didn't have the footwork. Bradley Dak has won the football back here. And that is great from him. And Smodics can't do anything about it. It was most likely the last opportunity he was going to have. And this is a poor performance from the guys. I'm happy that we're struggling. I'm not going to lie to you, boys, because you don't want to start a new career mode. And it'd just be super easy. That wouldn't be any fun. But this is not an acceptable result against Preston. There's only four shots in that entire match. But we just did not create anything. We are starting to slowly fill up the youth academy. And it's starting to look better. But we just found a pretty decent one. Billy Bennett. Five for eight Englishman. And let's see what he looks like he could be capable of doing. And that is not a right lot but a winger. Why is everybody so far in the academy just a winger? So many of them have just been pace and dribbling. And that is it. They've had nothing else to their game. We've just had an international break. Which means we are lacking in sharpness. But we're trying something different. Ben Barrett and Diaz is going back up top. We're going to try Reese Nelson on the left and Dolan on the right. I think they're two of our more important players. They need to be on the pitch at all times. We need to turn this slumping form around here at Bramall Lane. Once again against five at the back. Against the Sheffield United side that are looking for automatic promotion. This will be a rough one. But if there's any game where we can turn it around, it's this one. I think we're going to have to toy around a lot with tactics in this career mode. We're going to have to change a lot of stuff because... Whatever we're doing right now, it's just not working. Worked for an episode, but not for any longer than that. Reese Nelson, though, out on the left could be huge for me today. Travis is just going to try and loft that one in. And again, this is my biggest issue with Ben Barrett and Diaz. Is he just doesn't really have the pace. Bradley Dak now. I've got Dolan back on the pitch, though, which is actually making me very happy. I could punt this one out wide. Pick her in. And he do. I think my man's offside. Travers. Going to find that one into Dolan. Dolan's going to try and wait that one across. It goes all the way across. That was nearly in a decent position. Nelson now picks this back up. We're having some sustained pressure for the first time in a football game in a while. Is that Dolan in behind? It's not because the pass from Knight isn't good enough. And now we have to be cautious. Two quicker centre-backs would be nice, lads. In the comments, two quicker centre-backs would make me very happy. Whatever it takes to get quicker centre-backs would be nice. Oh, my God. Sharp flashes that one across the box. And there, finds Knight. Go on then, Dolan. 
Spotted a little cheeky run. He didn't keep the run going, but Bradley Dak kept a run going there, and I just couldn't find the right pass. Tyrese Dolan now is going to try and flash this one back across again. Night, nice. what a save. Dolan now. Dolan is dangerous. He whips it across to Bradley Dak. That's a great ball into Diaz. What a header. What a save from Fondringham. Do play deeper wingers, and that's making me think that we weren't getting Diaz on the ball enough. That is why we've made this change. Could be a good ball into Bradley Dak. Oh, my God. Bradley Dak's done brilliantly. Bradley Dak from that position. Save. Always a difficult one to score from that. Let's whip another good ball in. This time towards Berriton Diaz. Can't get onto it again. Bradley Dak should be getting that second ball. The second half hasn't really started like the first one did. It's been much more tame. Everton Diaz now, wants the run of Nelson, he's got it. And now with Nelson, I can cut inside if needed. That is great footwork from Nelson. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to bring it one like this across. Is that Dolan in behind? That might be Dolan in behind. What a save again from Fodringham. Win the football back. Travers, is that Diaz in behind this time? He needs to get to it. He does, Ben Burton Diaz back up top, back in the goal. They don't come much bigger than that when you're trying to turn form around. What ball in from Reese Nelson, and he had to get there ahead of the goalkeeper, and he does. Baldock now charging forward, and the big thing here for me is just don't let him play it in, and I feel like he didn't let him play it in how he wanted to. Now, what can we do? Diaz. I brought Buckley on. Buckley sat super deep there. What's he doing? Bradley Dak had a pretty decent game. It was knackered. Rian Brewster now is going to cause me an issue or two. I imagine well in Britain. I trust that one out wide. And Buckley is in space. Can he get to it? Buckley does get to it. He gets to it well. Buckley's not been on the pitch long. And Buckley's going to make it 2-0. And make me feel a lot more comfortable. Definitely think the lineup, the formation, the way we've played this match has worked far better. I think this might be what we need to do moving forward. We just can't can't afford not to have Dolan and Reese Nelson on the pitch. And when you're playing Ben Berrett and Diaz as the winger, you can't do that. And Diaz now. Is Buckley going to make that good run again? Buckley might just make a good run again. That is a superb touch. Buckley, is he in for two? He is. Oh, wow. That is special from Buckley. Not too shabby from Berrett and Diaz either. Let's just mention that part. Not too shabby at all. There we go then, boys. A massive bounce back victory here against Sheffield United. 3-0 the result. And we played like we deserved it. They had a few opportunities. Don't get me wrong. But I do feel like we were the better side. Currently, Caesar sat in ninth in the championship. Which is a little bit frustrating. We are starting to lose track now with that race for Premier League football. I never thought for a brief second that season number one would be easy. Next up, Huddersfield then. These are above us. It's an opportunity to gain some ground on the playoff push. If we can perform anything like we did in the last match, we will be fine. This is a start 11. Buckley starts after getting a brace in that last game. These home fans deserve the feeling of back to back wins. And I deserve that feeling, boys, in this episode. I genuinely deserve that feeling. You can't tell Throat's been cracking all day. Got a sore throat. Don't care. Need to sit down and record Blackburn. And hopefully, Ben Barrett and Diaz can cause them all kinds of problems in this one. Out to Thomas. Thomas has got good footwork. Noticing that. Harry Pickering has been the goat of left wings for me so far in this save. Ward will play that one out wide. With Donny now. See what he can do. He's got no one to aim for in the box because there's no one there. And Carter can deal with it. But we are going to have a corner that we have to deal with. See what Huddersfield could do from a corner. They've got a bit of height. I don't want to be Dolan in that situation. Oh, my God. What a mess. Did he give a foul for me? He did. What a legend this referee is. He gave a foul our way and we could take... What? That's not the button I've just pressed. Oh my God. Carter did brilliantly. Can we actually turn this now into a positive? Buckley. We'll try and loft that one over. Ben Barrington Diaz just doesn't have the pace. He keeps it. Can Barrington Diaz keep it again? He can't. We'll have the free kick. This is not a free kick position that Yorkie does take the free kick from. You guys should already know. I can't score them this year. I absolutely suck. So I'm just not going to risk it. We will keep the football, however. And oh, Barrington Diaz that have kept his run going. Can't fire off the shot. Has he given me a penalty? Referee is a legend. I love him already in this match. We've got a penalty. Can you take a 1-0 lead with a Ben Burton Diaz penalty? The answer without any doubt at home should be... Oh, my God. I swear that was green when we hit it. I swear that was green. We've been done so dirty there. It's still 0-0. Nil -nil. The ball forward now. Is Diaz making that run? He is. Couldn't get the ball in. Diaz making another run. Dolan just can't get any height on that cross. And so far, we're struggling to break down this difficult Huddersfield side. And I just don't want 
what happened against Preston to happen again. And they just defend super deep and then it's impossible for me. But now finds himself in another decent position. And I uh, maybe should have pulled the trigger. We're going to pull it with Knight instead. Oh my god, what a goal that would have been. Took way too long to craft anything there. If we could score a corner goal and I needed a corner goal, it would be right now. This is a good ball behind that. Using Radoni a lot in this position. And we get a cross, do we? We don't. Kaminsky will save it, though. Throw that there for Nelson. Nelson's pass just can't find a way through. And again, I'm just really struggling with this squad to create anything. When I play with Tottenham, I'm like, oh my god, it's so easy to create stuff. When I play with this Blackburn side, I'm like, oh my god, I can't create a thing. In behind to Doland. I mean, he scored from this angle before. It's not going to do it again. Definitely should have passed that one across. That's all on me. I just, he scored from there before. So I get excited. Knight has done brilliantly there. I felt like Doland had done great to keep on side, and I just didn't pull the trigger. Not much time left to go. Is there going to be a breakthrough in this game? What a point against Sheffield United, who are very, very good. Oh, my God. What has been found? What a save, Kaminsky. We just learned some news, boys. We've been struggling, haven't we, in this episode with our wingers. And they didn't have any of the instructions that I gave them before. Neither does the cam. No one has any of their old instructions. I don't know what's happened here. There has been a little bit of a title update. But yeah, no one has their instructions. So getting behind all that stuff. No wonder I'm finding it so difficult to attack. Hopefully with those minor tweaks... We might actually play better. I was wondering why my wingers just weren't moving forward. I was like, how the hell? Oh my God, what a save. Just how the hell am I supposed to go forward when my players just aren't making the runs? A short corner now, Fodersfield. Hopefully I can win the ball back and actually get some attacking opportunities because now I feel like we could do something with them. Oh, I don't like this. This is great. Oh, Holmes has done me. Get on him. I can't get the ball off them. I feel like this is going to be a Huddersfield goal. What a save, Kaminsky. This is an extremely late flurry from Huddersfield after I make the changes as well, which is the most... Oh, that was that was wrong. That was the right thing in my head, but too much power on the header. Straight after I've made the changes, now we're getting overrun. This is infuriating. Get the block in. Let's break away. Louis Nelson plays it forward. Oh, this is actually really nice. I've brought on Gelhart. Gelhart plays what is a scintillating pass to Nelson. And I think if Nelson is an absolutely knackered for the first time getting in behind, we score. I've learned a lesson. Check the instructions every single bloody match. Because if you aren't checking your instructions, lads, what are you really doing? Right, instructions are set up. We can actually play some decent football again now. But at the end of this episode, lads, with 19 games played, I'm pretty happy with the amount of games we went through. Let me know if you like that, if you like us going through more matches. I think it's more beneficial for this series especially in the early stages where we're trying to get out of the championship we're currently 11th we're having a rough time but there is instructions now and we're actually points wise not that far off the playoffs like if we'd have won that game we'd have been in the playoffs which is genuinely infuriating because we didn't have the damn instructions set up that's gonna be it for me i appreciate each and every one of you thank you very much for watching thank you for your support and i will see you in the next episode